show you how to make Oreo balls. And I tried in several different ways. There are several recipes online and everything. And I asked around people and, but uh, finally recipe is working the best for me. That's what I'm going to share with you. This is quick and easy if you know exactly what you're doing. So first you need the chocolate chocolate the covering chocolate but uh, i tried several Ghirardelli or some different brands all of them like a chocolate chips like these and people like a lot of times people told me to use those baking chips but that didn't work for me i did i couldn't do go anywhere with these so this is just to show you guys like but the best one is this great value in walmart you find this great value almond bar. You can find white or brown. Today I don't have any white left at home, so I'm going to show you this uh, brown one. So, so uh, like you, you need this. Like I never measure how much I'm using. I just make grate some of these. Cut, cut them like with a knife. I'll show you how to cut it. And usually I, when I make, I make a whole quantity, whole big box of Oreo cookies, mm, regular ones, not any thin, sorry. I cut the almond bark little at a time so I don't waste too much of it. And this today I got this Oreo minis. Usually I don't use this, but uh, I don't want to buy a whole big box of it for the sake of just video so i'm going to try this one today and um, all we need is these two and um, another thing is i usually i made this i found this styrofoam um, pieces like you know with some package i got but uh, i made holes to this this is what i usually use as they are drying I put it on for one one of these first and then I use the second one by the time the second one is finished the first uh, they are dried so then I remove them and put them in a box or something and container or something and then I use this one so the other day I got the idea like you know why can't we use the egg carton yeah we can do that's that's the best one actually but you need to keep in mind what sticks you are using they are there are two different kinds of sticks i mean maybe more than that but there i have these two di different kind of sticks one is longer bigger when i use that one see in the in, the, in these i use the big ones but uh, um, i have a lot of small ones over 100 of them i want to use those two but when you put this big one it, it goes in there like six when the small one goes all the way in there so that's kind of going to mess the wet the ball which is really wet still not dry yet you're putting it here for drying but that's not going to you know work for us like because it's too deep so what we can do is we can um, stuck some paper towels or something like that inside so it won't go all the way inside so it can stand like this uh, just a little bit to hold it like you know halfway through so that way like you know it won't drop and uh, the ball will fall off the stick another thing is you don't even need a stick you can use it without stick also you can make it uh, you put, put in a parchment paper and uh, it dries but you see it won't be browned all around so i i prefer i mean kids like kids or adult anybody like the without touching it you can eat with the stick and throw the stick away if you think that that is why waste the sticks you can do that way, the other way if the looks are not very important to you that's the you would use this one like you know some people can do like you know i don't know how they do it they really it or whatever but i cannot get better than this shape so okay let's see this this is how i do it this is a big pan mm, with water i fill it almost 
half away one third or half away like you know the water is like still it is not it just put it couple of minutes ago and on a very low flame this is not a very big stove it's a smaller burner like you know I, can this. I use this pan here this goes in here like this so it is easy for me to hand, handle uh, uh, like you know hold hold the handle and uh, use it take it out and in and out like while i'm doing it um, making those so i'm going to uh, cut the chocolate here you can take the knife and cut slightly like you know like this cut it like this so slowly so it won't spill all over okay the chocolate is ready like i took about this much like about a, about a cup or less than a cup because while let me put that in here we are put this is this one away and uh, now we'll worry about it later once uh, we need to prepare the oreo bowl, oreos so this is this is how those oreos are usually what i do it i do a big uh, bag full of them then i use the food processor these are very few so i don't want to use the food processor today another item ingredient we need is cream cheese you don't need a whole lot for this little one like about a tablespoon or half, less than that so see everything i do is eyeball it it is hard for me to say exact measurements so i i add a little bit and see like you know i think it is enough and then I may go back and add some more if it is not enough. So I'm taking a Ziploc bag, take a thicker one, and put this in here. And uh, I get Philadelphia cream cheese, uh, the leftover from last week. So I'm going to use this part. This is about a tablespoon of it. That should be more than it. So let me add that uh, cream cheese. That's I think I'm not going to take all of it. Like let me take this much. Uh, let me go ahead and add the rest of it too. And uh, before we go, okay. Let me put this one here and let it melt slowly. It'll, it'll melt slowly then we can make the meanwhile we can make these balls and keep them we have decided to make the use the small sticks right so I'm making a smaller balls and so this is how it they look let me make all of them and keep them here I'll what I need to do is once they are all done I need to refrigerate okay i put it in the freezer for two minutes and uh, took it out i just uh, dip a little bit in the chocolate not a whole lot see i just draw the of it don't do don't let it come out of the other end slowly do it I'll take it out of the pan here. Just a quick swipe. Don't let it stay too long so the ball will get uh, the cold ball will get melted uh, and it won't stick together. And let it run through the chocolate and keep keep moving. I mean keep uh, turning it around, not. Uh, don't put it on one side all the time so that way the chocolate will stick to the cold mm, oreo ball so i don't see any more dripping here now i take it out and put it on this one here and it might sometimes drip a little over there but if you see it is since i put it in the freezer it's kind of Since I put it in the freezer, it's kind of setting up quickly. You know, if you put it in the freezer for about uh, four to five minutes, uh, not too long, so they get not too long, so they get so hard, 
and uh, you won't be able to make it. Yeah, poke the poke the stick inside. The stick we are uh, dipping in the chocolate to make it as a glue to when you put poke it in here it glues to the ball because the ball is cold and chocolate has a tendency to like you know um, react to the temperature and don't dip, dip it too long just just quick swipe all around and keep keep turning so if it is on one side it is a chance it's get heavier on that side and it will come out so just keep moving mm. and uh, since the ball, Oreo balls are like uh, cold very cold so the chocolate is going to with this uh, mini Oreo mini small box uh, we can make about 10 of them a nice size like you see like some of them I use the bigger longer stick and some of them I use the smaller it really doesn't matter which one you use you need to put the make the Oreo balls um, put leave it in the refrigerator for four to five minutes in the freezer sorry not in the refrigerator before I never timed it this time I timed it and uh, I figure like uh, if you keep it in the freezer about four to five minutes let them get odd little they need to be cold all the way inside they need to cool down all the way inside so that way like you know when you stick uh, put the stick inside um, it need to hold it together otherwise it fall apart this is not a difficult item as we always think it is uh, if you follow all the rules very well it is easy um, you, you can make it very easily like you know just try a like a few of them like maybe half of this one and try it and see if you like it uh, if you could uh, get hold of it then you can make it maybe you spoil a couple of times but uh, you're going to get there uh, it's not a big deal okay uh, thank you for watching i hope uh, you'll subscribe my channel and i'll be post posting more videos like this thank you